Hello and thank you for joining me today. I'm going to do a video on how to do an all zero reset on the Citizen EcoDrive Caliber E820. I did a setting video on how to set the time on the Citizen EcoDrive Caliber E820 and I'll leave a description for that video in the link below. But in the comments to that video, I did have some people tell me that the hands on their watches weren't lining up where they should. And this could happen because perhaps the watch was in storage and ran out of power and then when it woke up it just needed a reminder of where its zero position is. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so let's get started. What we need to do, feature dial, we need chronograph selected. As I ran over in my previous video on how to set the time on this watch, everything is just purely repeated for symmetry, okay? It doesn't matter which item you select, which feature you select. But what we need chronograph selected to perform an all zero reset. So pull out the crown one click, this activates your feature dial, turn the crown, select chronograph. As you can see, I've done that. What we do now is we pull out the crown all the way. And the hands are now going to go to their reset position. Now I'll tell you where the reset position is for each dial. Obviously this happened very quickly on mine. I did this for the purpose of the video so we wouldn't have to wait around too long. But all of your hands with the crown out all the way on chronograph will spin around until they get to their reset position. So the 24 hour dial, the reset position here is 24 hour and minutes, 12 o'clock. This dial here, which is your minute counter for your chronograph. And when you tell the watch, is it a leap year? One, you're past two, is past or three is past, is zero. And the date should be at one, okay? Mine are correct, but if they weren't, this is what you'd do. Crown is still out all the way on chronograph. Hold down both these push buttons until the watch beeps. Be about two seconds and let go. One, two, let go. There's your confirmation tone telling you you can reset the position of your hands. Okay, first thing to do, just turn the crown. And you'll see <clears throat> I'm moving the hand on this dial here. This is where we set the date and this to zero. So it is in the right place, but let's say it wasn't, you could sweep your finger down the crown. It's gonna go on and on, four or five spins, the date window will change. You can go anti-clockwise, but we need this on one and we need that hand on zero. I'm gonna turn the crown to stop it. I'm gonna go anti-clockwise, because obviously that's gonna be quicker. I'm gonna get that to zero. So once this whole zero reset procedure is done, you then go on to set the time as you normally would, as is shown in my other video. Okay, we're nearly there. So we need it on bang on zero and one. Nearly there, okay. I turned the crown until it clicked. So it stopped nearby zero and then I can just go one at a time to be precise. Okay, excellent. So we've done the time. We have done this dial here. We now press, I think it's the top button, moves me on to the next thing, which is, I beg your pardon, time is next, okay. Turn the crown, line your hands up to 12 and the 24 hour dial to 24 at the top. Okay, so I need to go anti-clockwise now. I just did that for demonstration purposes. So it was crown out all the way on chronograph, let everything settle down. Hold down both push buttons for two seconds and to let go, you heard the confirmation tone. Turn the crown and the first thing you line up is this dial here, you want it at zero and one. Top button moves you onto the hands, you want it at 24 and hands aligned to 12. Okay, there we go. Top button will move me onto the next thing then, which is your second hand. This needs to be lined up to 12, which mine is, but it's in focus. but you need it at 12. Now that's gonna take ages if I go one at a time, isn't it? But I can sweep my finger down it, turn it when I get close. Okay, get it lined up to 12. This is obviously important because this is where you tell the watch what month it is when you set the time. Okay, that's it, that's zero positioning done. If you needed to recap, go through anything again, just press the top button, it takes you back to the beginning again. That hand's wiggled, I can now turn the crown, change that, top button, minute hand. I could turn the crown, change that. Top button again, second hand. And that's it, crown in. Pull out the crown again. 
select time. Now what you can do is follow the video in the link below and that will show you how to set the time on this watch. But that's how you do a zero reset on the Calibre E820. I hope you found that video helpful. Thanks for watching.